All right, so it's become kind of a cornerstone of the channel now that I do terrible regional accents. So I'm gonna give this one a try. Blueberry muffin. Yeah, I think I've got it. Right, so today we're going to... I'm in New York. We're going to Long Island to compete in the World Strawberry Shortcake Eating Championships. And right now I'm going to meet my friend Wayne Algenio. I'm, I'm going to stop with the, the voice. It's, it's Wayne Algenio. And uh, just about found him. Darren there, boo. He's wearing my shirt though. And, uh, That's my beard shirt. I'm too big for it. <laughs> I have to send you a new one then. Uh, we're gonna, where are we going? It's, it's a place called Matituk, um, which is, is it in Long Island? Yeah. Um, so it's a pretty long drive, right, from New York City. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just hoping I come in third or higher. That, that's always the goal. Finish as good as the last contest or better. I, I think this video is missing something though. Oh, like a really saucy B roll segment. I, I'll throw that in now. windy and I don't have a dead cat for the mic but uh look how friendly we all are all these competitive ears together Darren Darian George uh, Ronnie Wayne who may or may not be competing because he lost to me once I think he's a little bit a little bit wounded about that but we're about to eat some strawberry shortcake don't know if you can hear this but uh, I'm, I'm gonna switch the GoPro now and uh, yeah that'll be the contest What's up, Army? Welcome back to another video. I just realized I sound like the, the rapper from uh, that terrible British girl band Mystique when I do that. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, another Major League Eating Contest, my third contest of the season. And I would like to cordially invite people out there who are of a nervous disposition to shut this video off because it's a messy one, right? I'm eating strawberry shortcake and actually I had no idea what strawberry shortcake was before this contest. I'm not even really certain what it is now, but uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, it's going to be a messy one. The table, he's on his fourth pound and I don't even know what's going on. This is not a traditional and the beard is not perfect for competitive eating. I'm not going to lie to you because you get a lot of problems. <laughs> Jeffrey Esper, ranked number three in the world, on his fifth ball, his fifth pound of strawberry shortcake. Yeah, no flies on George Shea, one of Major League Eaton's MCs there. It certainly is difficult to eat this kind of food with a beard, but we're doing it. It's the World Strawberry Shortcake Eating Championships today in uh, Matatuck, Long Island. 
And I'm trying to shoot for third today. Right here, Adam Moran is incredibly efficient here. He's not wasting any time. It's absolutely like watching a cooking preparation show when they can cut so fast. <laughs> I think maybe George needs to look up the definition of efficient in the dictionary because this is certainly not an efficient way of eating. Just uh, giving a little bit of love there to some subscribers in the crowd. Uh, a few subscribers did come down today, so if you made it, thank you very much. This is in the arse end of nowhere, so I did not expect a crowd quite this big. But uh, as you can see, I expected strawberry shortcake to be really soft, really easy to eat. As you can probably see, it's not, right? And... Uh, it's pretty much really dense sponge cake, a little bit like quick bread, like cornbread or something, with strawberries and syrup on top, and then whipped cream. Weird meat food, nine pounds, crazy legs, party on six. Darian Thomas is on ten. Darian Thomas is in second right now. He's going to have to clean up. That's right. He's going to have to clean up the table. So at this point, I think I'm doing terrible, right? I think I'm going really slowly, and this stuff was, was harder to eat than I thought it would be given that it's sponge cake, right? I thought it'd be fairly soft, but I've eaten nine pounds in like five and a half minutes at this point. So that's actually a pretty decent pace. Adam Moran is absolutely, it's like watching the dance. It's like watching the bowl tour. It's like watching Picasso paint. He is beautiful. It is unbelievable. So efficient, so fluid. <laughs> see me laughing there. I'm starting to think looking back that maybe George had just been sat in the prep tent chugging the syrup that these strawberries were served in because he was obviously high. Nobody's ever compared my eating to the Bolshoi Ballet before. But uh, anyway, my main competition at this point is not the guy to my direct left. That's Crazy Legs Conti, you might remember from the Oyster video. It's the guy next to him, Darian Thomas, who's Canada's number one competitive eater. And I actually beat Darian at the Croquettas contest in Miami back in February by like 40 croquettas. So I guess I lit a fire because he came out so strong here and he was ahead of me the whole contest. So I think we've got like a little rivalry going on, which is cool. Next to him is uh, Wayne Algenio, who's not actually signed with Major League Eating, but uh, they had a dropout, so they let him compete at the last minute. And the two guys to my right, who you can't see, are the two favorites of the contest, Darren Eats and uh, Jeff Esper, who might not be household names because they have fairly small YouTube channels. I'll put their channels in the description, so please check them out because they're both incredible eaters. Yes, better than Matt Stoney before you say it. They're probably second and third best eaters in Major League eating right now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my
All right, so back at the hotel room, watching baseball for some reason, which might even be worse than cricket. I'm not sure. They're both pretty terrible. But um, yeah, contest didn't go too well today. I placed fourth, which is in the money again, so nice little earner. But really wanted to come third today. Just missed out. But um, I didn't really stand up to eat. I was bent over for too long, which, which really cost me in the long run. I did have some debris. I finished 12 bowls, but I got a heavy deduction to take me down to 10.75 pounds, which I thought was maybe a little harsh, but I don't know. That's what you learn. That's what experience gives you when you do uh, you know, more and more events. But uh, anyway, I've got to try and recover quickly now for my Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Qualifier tomorrow at City Field. So that should be cool. At a massive uh, stadium. Never seen City Field before, but it's not far from the hotel. And uh, yeah, hopefully I do well. Aiming for about 30 hot dogs. That should get me in with a chance, but we will see. There's lots of shortcake inside me right now. 